this video is sponsored by my YouTube channel. Go and subscribe. Alright everyone, hello. My name is Philip, and, well, if you don't know me, I run the channel Philcaster Vlogs, which is where this is, where this is, um, being recorded. Cringe. Alright, so today, as you can see, just make that focus. It's not focusing. Alright, as you can see, we got a big potato right here. We got a big potato. There we go. It's not that big. Compare it to my hand. Not that big. But today we are going to be making mashed potatoes. You know, because well, why not? So yeah. So all we gotta do right now is just peel it. I'm not that good at peeling myself. I'm not that good at peeling potato skins that quickly, so you're gonna have to sit here. You can skip, um, I don't know, just skip until you find where the next place is. But all I'm saying is potatoes. And. All right. As we just struggle with potato ness, well, we peel it, peel the potato. Almost just peeled my 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 finger. But all right, we almost got this potato done. Oh, look at that. One potato done. Five more to go. Just gonna move that to the side so you can see the potato get peeled. Alright, next one. An even smaller one. So this one's probably not gonna take as long, hopefully. Or it'll take much longer if I lose a finger. <laughs> yeah, alright. My camera's not that... It just work. Oh, foreshadowing of the other potatoes. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. Ah. All right, so there we go. Why can't you just? All right. So, honestly, seriously, I cannot, I cannot peel potatoes in peace. This is, this is just madness. Jeez. All right, we got one more try. This, it's, it's still not going on my face. They're gonna fall, so I place you there. And you right there. All right, there we go. So now we still have this tiny potato to do, and it'll be even smaller by the time we're done. So I haven't really made a video this long before. Probably never will again, unless I were to make French fries. I don't know when I'll be doing that, but that's on the list. You know, recently I've been watching Bee Hut is Cool, right? And I made this video on how to make french fries. Oh, I have nothing to say. But, I guess while we peel this potato to... It's inner parts. Um, I guess I can just keep talking. Nothing's really been going too bad. 
Um, yeah, not not too bad, but I guess you can say poop. But some other cool videos I'm yet to post. You won't see them yet. But now we're on the next one. Oh, this one's going much smoother. Also, not to mention, we're going to be making gravy as well. But, right now, you're just watching me peel potatoes. Because, they're potatoes. But, I think I'm going to skip some footage just to save time. For people who are watching. So, when I'm down to the last potato... I'll be turning on my camera for people to watch me peel the last potato because it sounds cool. So I'll, I'll see you back then. Right about now. Alright, so we got our potato. And that was a terrible transition. I'm never doing that again. But... I guess what you can say is Philip, never do another transition again or else I will unsub. But don't, please don't unsub. I'm still here trying to get 50 subs while some of my friends here are at 80. And you just see their, their competition and no, no, no reason to be that mad at Abe Five, but you know that's just how it is. So yes, now I am peeling the last potato. All the other ones are right there. You won't be able to see. I'm not moving the camera right now. It's my phone. So. There we go. I got it out. So now we have the last potato done. Time for another transition. This time, it's just going to be a random one. And we are back. As you can see, all the potatoes are here. We are not going to peel them by size because I am too lazy to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't touch the camera. Bad, bad potato. Alright. So you won't be able to see my face. That's... Alright, wait. Now you do. Now you don't. Alright. So, we're just going to go grab this sword, which is the knife, and we are just going to... Where's that bad... Here he is. Die. We also have a pot right here. Won't be able to see that one much, but he... As in the potato, I call I name him Connor. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make something cursed out of him. All right. Oh, 
there's the potatoes in there. Now, and no, I did not just cut my hand off. It's right here. They're both here. But I really love cutting potatoes because who doesn't? Well, unless you cut your hand, but as you can see, I'm skilled. Totally. There's probably not even going to be captions right here, so I don't know. It's not even going to edit it. I don't know why I just did that. It's going to look really cringy now. And I just made it worse. Alright, we just killed Jonathan. And Toby. I don't know why I'm giving them all, like, British names. But that is just how it is. Next. I'm going to call him David. Or Brad. Yes, this is Brad the Potato. His life was cut into two. And then into quarters. And then into eights. And then he was thrown into a pot where he will never be seen again. Because he's all mixed up. Next, we have Gregory. Just wait. As I was saying, we have Gregory. And... That's just Gregory for you. Now when I say Gregory, I'm not referring to security breach, if any of you know what that is. And either way, he's still Gregory. Also cut it up into eights, and then got the last one. We're going to name him Bill, named after me. Uh, one sec. Alright, look at that. He is adorable. Look at that. His name is Phil. Off with his head. Oh wait, he's just a head. Well, at least now we can say that he has a split personality. Uh, uh, that was not a good joke. But, yeah, he does. His life was torn in half. Okay, yeah. Phil is now starting to make me angry. All right. You probably can't see it. Oh wait, yes you can. My hands are like covered in potato starch. And yeah. That's the remaining, the remains of them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill it with water and let it boil. Alright, 
so now we're just gonna set it to max and we're just gonna get like gonna get a little bit of salt as you can see a little bit of salt and just All right, now my hand burns. All right, next thing we need to make. The most needed thing in my potatoes. Gravy. All right. Oops, keeping that in there. And in about a couple of seconds, I'm just going to place them all there. You'll see. Uh, I'll, you'll, you'll see it, okay? Yeah. Right. Right now. 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 There. We got it. So, I already have some, sorry for my voice, but it changed a bit, but alright. So, got the onion. Onion, check. Meat, check. Morning wrap. All right. <clears throat> Sorry for my bad manners, but morning rounds are delicious. So what we're going to do here is use an even bigger knife and just cut the stuff into small pieces. Like what I'm doing. All right. Next. Set them aside, and then you go for the onion. I think my morning round's gonna taste bad now. Do any of you like cry from onions? It's been it's been like five weeks since I've cried from an onion. So it's like I've kind of learned how to withstand it. Or, my onions here are just so good they can't be deadly. Uh, some of that juice went into my eyes. Now I'm going to probably cry. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to cry. The first time in five weeks. Jeez. No, not now. Not now. Please don't. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. I'm going to be really upset if I do. No. And then we just... Roll all that stuff down here into this pot. And here's the exciting part. Alright. So, what we do first, before we throw it on the stove, is you get butter. Like a normal person does. You cut it. You just throw it in there. All right, so. Mm. Now, what you gotta do while I'm eating is you gotta keep it moving. Make sure the butter melts completely. And eh, I think I had a little too much, but make sure it melts completely. And that you can actually smell the onions. Don't put your face in the pot. You will guarantee get burned. But make sure you can smell the onions. Cooking. Uh, 
And now for the next ingredients that will appear right here. A bowl. Alright, so I've been away for like three minutes getting this. So in the bowl there is flour and water. Not this. But now, as you can see, that is going really good. Well, I can smell the onion. Alright, now, if you can smell it, you just turn on your sink, let it run for like 30 seconds. I'd say it's been about 30 seconds. All right. So now you just fill it with water, not all the way. I'd say about halfway, maybe double, like another layer as much as you put of onions and meat inside. You can put any meat. I just added pork because it's the closest thing I have to bacon. This is going to be probably really watery. Thanks to my amazing skills of adding flour into water. And it's probably not going to taste that good. I make it every Saturday, so you're not supposed to expect it to be good all the time. But, you know, I'm totally a paid professional. I was not paid to do this either. Because I just do it for fun. You know, making mashed potatoes, that's just what I do every Saturday. But I'm not going to be recording every Saturday. For that, I'd be live streaming. And I'm no streamer. Mashed potato Saturday, it's usually a personal thing. But... As you can see, you got all that white stuff. And next thing you do, you just dump it in there with the rest of the gravy contents. Oh, geez. Some of that has not went properly. Jeez. All right. In the rest of you go. Yeah. In you go. There we go. And now what you do is just... Mix it all up together. Now, you probably won't be able to see it. That's what it looks like. And, yeah. It's almost done. And when everything is, like, readying up and we're going to be mashing the potatoes, I'll get back to you. So, yeah. One more thing to add about the gravy is, all right, so, yes, to add, to make, for me, to make color in the gravy, you just grab your soy sauce, and you just, don't put too much or else, unless you want to die of high salinity, being oversalted or something like that. Don't. So, I think this should... I think it needs a little more. Nope, this is good. Alright, so, you saw how it was, like, weird yellowish now. Now, you probably can't see it that well. My camera's not that good. But it's actually now, like, brown. Like, gravy should be. Alright? Jeez. Okay. So, that's that. And I will get... Back to you when this potato is done. And yeah, okay, um, yeah. Today, I'm making mashed potatoes, and, well, they're already there. But, that's not what you're going to see right now. You're not going to see me do any of that right now. You're going to have to watch the whole video, 
and then you'll see me do that. All right? Yeah, peace out. All right, so we're back now. Um, potatoes, I think, are done. We will get the bowl of death. And we will get this strainer. I think they're ready. They're really yellow right now, so you, you're, you're not going to see it yet. But now it's almost going to be the fun part. Smashing the potato. Mashing the potatoes. And yeah, that's about all we need from the strainer. So, Mr. Strainer, you're done. Now what we need, what I like to call the piece of wood. So like I said, they're just really yellow right now. I'm going to murder them all right after I get the butter. Because the butter is what will save us all. So I'm just going to use this giant chunk of butter here. I'm just going to... It's not going to come out good. Like, nice and smooth and stuff. But... Yeah. All right. Not looking like mashed potatoes right now. Yo, B Hut is probably going to comment or something, being like, Bro, you use too much butter. Don't say that, Ben. There is no such thing as too much butter. Well, unless you're a little kid, yeah, sure. Then I'll give you that, Ben. But don't. Don't say that I added too much butter. Next time I make mashed potatoes, I'm giving you some on Sunday. That'll be next time if you do comment saying that I added too much butter. You're getting mashed potatoes. So it is almost ready, as you can see, it's getting there, but then, that is when I will taste test it, and we'll see if it's good. And honestly, I think I'm probably not going to give an honest opinion. I'm quite biased when it comes to me making mashed potatoes compared to B-Hut making french fries. I wonder why. Alright. 
So, we're just gonna add, like, another block of butter. It's like the fourth one, but whatever. I'm like struggling here. I'd ask someone else to match it for me. But no. I do my own stuff here. Especially when it comes to mashed potatoes. Another piece of butter. All right, I think that's good. Gravy's good as well. And I will be the rest of it. I got something called gloves. We're gonna put this into my sample cup, which is literally just made out of glass. Like a normal person's cup should be. That is it. All right. So. Probably don't know what I'm doing. If you do know, well, you know. If you don't know, I'll tell you either way. Alright. So, I'm using the gloves for molding. I call these my molding gloves. We have resurrected Jonathan. As you can see, I'm just going to flop him down in there. This is torture, human abuse. Don't report me for this. Alright, next. What we're gonna do now, we have our dipper. And There we go. And the last ingredient that should ever be in mashed potatoes or on top of Jonathan here. And there we go. That is it. So, that's it. I'm not going to taste it. You guys are going to have to wonder. I'll see ya. Just kidding. Alright. So, we're going to do something called grabbing a spoon. As you can see, young Jonathan is in his terrarium. And now, we shall eat him. Wow, that is actually really good. Leave a like if you want mashed potatoes. Peace out.